Hey everybody, welcome to Medling World. We're here at SeaWorld today because it's time for a pizza review. There's a new pizza quick service restaurant right here at SeaWorld. We're gonna head over to it and we're gonna give you our full review. So come on in. Check it out. Check it out. And here we are guys, as I said, as we walked in, this is new here, past several weeks open, Dockside Pizza Company. You know on Meddling World, we love to do pizza reviews. Now it is a theme park. We're not expecting it to be sensational and, and blown out of the water by it. No pun intended, we are at SeaWorld. But some of these pictures here, Look pretty good. Looks like we got some sausage and pepperoni one. That looks like a margarita maybe. And that's a pepperoni. Let's find out how good this pizza is. Let me start by showing you the menu. So these are the pizzas. They almost kind of look like, don't they look kind of like flatbreads? They shape like flatbreads. Maybe they're pizza shaped like flatbreads. I don't know. We'll find out when we eat it, but I guess they're saying it's like an individual pizza, good for one person. So they have the three meat, as you can see there with the pepperoni, Italian meatballs, bacon, mozzarella, cheese, parmesan, the Bianca, olive oil base, heirloom uh, tomatoes, spinach, garlic, and then of course, it looks like a couple different cheeses. So you got your mozzarella, parmesan on the cheese, and then the pepperoni is also pepperoni, mozzarella, cheese, and parmesan. And I'll just show you the rest of the menu while we're here. They have some sub, meatball sub. They have a chicken Caesar salad. They do have a kid's meal, 12 and under, served with a fruit cup. Uh, and then they have some different sides, some garlic knots, small Caesar salad, and a fruit cup. Of course, dessert. Those still H cupcake and chocolate chip cookies. They do have some beers and beverage. And also, as I was showing you guys, they do have a mobile order pickup so you can do a mobile order if you're interested and it looks like mobile ordering over there you would just walk in and get it over on this side would be the standby now i know you probably can't see that menu pretty good but i'm going to tell you the pizzas range from the cheese one is 15.99 um all the way up to 17.99 for the meat so the other two are 16.99 just to give you a little bit of an idea on the prices and the subs uh, are $16.99. So, sub and salad, that one's $16.99. Let me see if I can find a kid's one as I'm looking. $9.99 for the kids. So, that kind of goes over the menu, kind of the process. So, actually, I'd like to go in and look over at the mobile. So this is where you'd go in and get your mobile ordering. And of course, you got your um, fountain drinks and mobile order pickup, but it also has a grab. It's like a grab and go as well, guys. Looking like you can just come in and grab something and go as well. So not just mobile pickup, self checkout. Okay, there we go. So you can do grab and go, whatever is available here. So a couple different options over on this side if you don't want to wait in line. Okay, good information. Now, let's figure out exactly what we're gonna get. Guys, one other thing I wanted to point out is this is the seating area here. There is no indoor seating, as you can see. Uh, I will double check over on the other side, but it did not look like any indoor seating. So I'm already thinking in clement weather, there's no shelter. So that could be a problem right away, as I see. And um, also here now at SeaWorld, no cash accepted. So make sure if you're coming, you have whatever form of payment you need, uh, Apple Pay, Google Pay, credit card, uh, I don't know, coupons, whatever it is, uh, no cash accepted. Uh, I think we're gonna try to do a mobile order as Roberta's over here having a look. Uh, we'll see how it works out because we are pass holders so we get discount and we also have another promotion on top of that discount. So we're gonna see if that works. So I'll let you know uh, if any pass holders are watching uh, how we made out with that. But let me check one more thing over where the standby queue was to order. I want to see if there was any tables in there. I didn't see any. Definitely no, no seating. But when you do get your pizza over here, they have a couple things you can get. They have some hot pepper, 
some Parmesan uh, for your salad. Actually, I think I'll get a couple hot peppers. And some Parmesan. Here we go. All right, guys, so we did have a little bit of issues in Har Roberta with the mobile ordering. Uh, sorry, we have sun glaring in our eyeballs. Uh, but I need to do this because if not, you won't be able to see us. So we ended up having to do the regular um, order through the standby line, which wasn't bad. It just took a couple minutes. Yeah, the employee, um, they didn't know much about it either, how to do in a mobile order. Sorry, you had the sense on my face. Yeah. Um, they didn't know much about how to do the mobile order. How to put a discount. Yeah, yeah the promotion. So I would suggest if you do have those promotions, yeah. go through the standby line. Also, these are the pizzas we got. We got the Bianca which is spinach, olive oil, tomato, and garlic. And we got a cheese pizza. So, I don't know. Roberta's, Roberta's the one who went up. And Roberta, you were saying it's just kind of like ready and you're yeah, ready to it's go. Yeah, it's ready, yes. It's, it's pretty much there. It's a quick service. Yeah. So I've tried the uh, cheese pizza. It's uh, very cheesy. Very cheesy? Okay. Yeah, all I really taste is just strong cheese. Okay. I'm going to give it a seven and a half. And a half. That's still not bad. Yeah, for seven it. and a half for like a, a park pizza or general pizza, like a park park pizza. So not bad. Jake's saying the cheese isn't bad. Roberta and I will try them. Uh, we'll let Jake take another couple bites too. Let's see how these things come out. So because of the way we're sitting, I'm trying to one hand the camera just to show you though. It looks good. That's what I was saying earlier, Roberta. Thank you for saying that. It, it does kind of have a crispier. It, the crust actually isn't bad. You guys can see that crust. Let's look underneath. It's actually not that bad. The crust is not that bad. That olive oil, or what is that on there, Roberta? Looks like balsamic. Yeah, it tastes like balsamic. That's the first thing that I tasted right away. Hmm. I don't think it's that bad. It's really not that bad at all. I like it. Hmm. It was sitting out. It was sitting out. It wasn't like, you know, you had to wait for it. It's immediate. But it's not wicked hot. It's not wicked hot. The cheese isn't like dripping off it. So you can tell it was sitting out. But for a theme park, it's actually not bad. Not bad. It really is not that bad for a theme park pizza. It's on the expensive side. But what is it when you're at a theme park? Um, the Bianca is pretty good. Let me try a, a bite with the tomato on it. The thing I like about it is the crust is <laughs> the crust is pretty good. Um, it's got a crunch. It's got a little bit of a chew. I would say if it was fresh and hot, it would be even better. But for a theme park pizza, I'm gonna give it, you know, I'm not gonna try to do comparisons to Connecticut and all that with this, because we, we are in a theme park. Yeah. We're not at a sit down. But I agree with Jake, it's a seven and a half for a theme park. It, oh yeah, it's a good seven and a half for a theme park. Let me try to cheese for you guys as well. And then, you know, Roberta will give us her opinion. And then, well, Jake's had a few more bites. I'm curious to see if he still thinks it's a 7.5. Um, let me show you underneath. You can see it's got that nice crisp. Definitely pre-made crust, so you can see those little air pockets there for cooking. Um, now, now to me, the cheese, definitely not as good. That, that to me is only... The cheese isn't any, it, it, to me, it's just a regular, if I went to a theme park and I got a cheese pizza, it's just, that's what it would be. It's a seven for me. The cheese is a seven. The uh, the Bianca though, with those extra ingredients on top, I think made it a lot better. Enough to at least give it a 7.5. So that's my review. I would say definitely, 
if you wanted some decent theme park pizza, I would I would come here again. Jake, Jake's had think? some more of the cheese. What are you thinking, Jake? And the Bianca. Yeah, the I still Bianca. think it's my previous opinion on the cheese, but the Bianca. Bianca. Yeah. Uh, I think I think it's pretty good, but I need a. I forgot the flavor. Mm. Spinach. I think it's like in the Bianca, guys. Hey, this is the longest pizza review we ever did. <laughs> Let's see what Jake's thinking. I taste spinach and lettuce. Uh, no, I taste spinach. I taste spinach and cheese. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. I like it a lot more than the cheese. Than the I'm cheese. gonna give it an eight point three. Oh, wow, Jake's really bumped that one up. And now let's get Roberta's opinion here. Roberta. I agree with Jake. Yeah, you tried both know. of them. But I, I, I would go a little bit less. Seven and a half on the Bianca. I yeah. haven't tried the cheese yet, but. For theme park pizza, I'll definitely have it again, but I agree, it's an expensive side. Yeah, try yeah. the cheese, Roberta. I'm interested in getting your take. Roberta is laughing here because she doesn't get ketchup with this pizza. If you guys watch, I, I've told you before, if there's no ketchup on a pizza, it means Roberta really likes it, but the reason there's no ketchup on this pizza is because they don't have ketchup here. <laughs> what do you think of the cheese, Roberta? I would go a little like, I would go. A seven on a, pizza, on a cheese pizza and seven and a half on a Bianca. I think that's exactly what I rated yeah. them pretty much. We're right there. So, guys, thank you so much for watching Medlin World. There is your review from the right here, Dockside Pizza Co. I definitely uh, think, yeah, if you're in the park and you're looking for some pizza, it's not too bad. So, guys, please take a moment. Subscribe to Medlin World if you haven't yet. Thank you to our Patreons. And last but not least... See ya!